they, they have shirts? They do have shirts. Hey there, I'm Cody, and this is my wife, Laura, and this is Tots. If you're new here, we converted him into our very own tiny home on wheels and have spent the last six months traveling the country with our girl, Raleigh. We've now been to seven states, Texas, Arizona, California, Nevada, Utah, Idaho, and last week we arrived in Oregon. So hit subscribe and come along for the ride. This is the tale of two Smitties. So we are in Bend, Oregon. We got to our spot last night. Also last night, we hung out with one of my friends from Dallas, Carrie. We had a blast, hit up a couple of breweries, of course, and already enjoying Bend. And now we're on our way to a very short little hike, but to a beautiful waterfall. So we can't wait. So this creek is actually kind of man-made. Uh, about 30 plus years ago, an abandoned campfire caused a 4,300-acre wildfire across this entire area, destroying all the trees. Then loggers came in and removed all those dead trees, which sounds like a good idea, but it actually ruined all the banks because the tree roots, even the dead trees, helped keep it all together. So when they removed all those, this what was a huge river basically disappeared. Um, so they came and man-made what you see behind me now, um, which is really incredible. They've restored so much wildlife and just <laughs> natural habitat now. Um, but all of that to say, don't abandon your campfires because you could absolutely destroy an entire area. So put them out. So we've been really uh, just fortunate to see so many different types of places as we've been traveling around. But I don't know about Laura, but for me, this is my spot. Woods, rivers, mountains are a bonus, but woods and rivers, I mean, that's what I love. This is just so beautiful. One thing Laura loves is learning more about the places we visit. If you'd like to learn more about the destruction and restoration of the Tumalo Creek, hit pause on the video and read these signs that were posted next to the creek. Laura's out on the platform over there on this huge cliff overlooking this waterfall. Hang on to that phone. Roz, is this your first hike? <laughs> what do you think? This is our new camp spot. Just outside of Bend, Oregon, and it is another beauty. We are currently dealing with the struggle of finding shade in our spot, so we're pulling back a little bit to try and get some of the shade from the trees because I think we're going to leave Raleigh in the bus um, and it's just warm enough that if we're baking in the sun the bus could probably get pretty hot for her so here it comes <laughs> Raleigh was sticking her head out that was super cute I wish I caught it so Cody and I just discovered our new favorite game to There's play in bed <laughs> It's called point out the Subarus and see if you can go more There's than one. one block without seeing a Subaru. So we're just going past First Street. Actually, it went down, so I don't know what the next one is. But we're going to see if we can spot a Subaru before There's we one. get to the next one. Oh, I was a Toyota. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Oh, 
Zakia. Oh, this might be the first time. Coming up to the light. This might be the first one. No, there's the Subaru. Yep, Subaru. All right. There's oh, there's another Subaru. one. So if you're in Bend, let us know if you're going to play Subaru. the Subaru game. <laughs> there's one. There's another Subaru. That's the kind I want. This is my kind of Subaru. This looks like the Subaru I used to drive. <laughs> I think mine was older than that. It's our new favorite game. I love Subarus. I want to sell the Cruise and get a Subaru. But I think if we sell the Cruise, Laura wants to just ride the bus. No, I would drive a Subaru. So I am an absolute sucker for something that's a little nostalgic, kind of out there and random in places you wouldn't expect it. So in Bend, Oregon, that means we are at the last blockbuster on the planet. <laughs> so let's go. Oh, what do you think being at the last blockbuster? It's crazy. Um, I don't, I'm old enough to have seen things go away, but I don't know that I've seen a whole lot of things that like came up in my lifetime and went away that were like a big deal. It's pretty cool. It's probably one of the few, so I don't know, pretty neat. Definitely worth a visit. They've got a lot of cool older stuff. First, we had to get something while we were here, and since we don't get a lot of like clothes and stuff like that, we decided what better than to get some previously loved DVDs from Blockbuster Video. <laughs> but they do have a ton of merch here, so if you want some Blockbuster gear, they can help you out. Awesome. Thank, Thank you so much. So much. just left Blockbuster and got all the essentials, stickers, candy, and of course, some movies. So we bought a couple movies because we were going to be heading out of town, so it didn't really make sense to rent, um, which we're sure happens a decent amount as a lot of tourists probably check it out and aren't renting because they're only here for a short amount of time. Um, so we just thought we would make a note to say, you know, they've got merchandise, they've got candy, you can buy movies. Um, they don't charge you to go in there. So if you're in Bend and you wanna check out the last Blockbuster, we would just encourage you to support them with a purchase of something that makes sense for you. Good morning. We are leaving Bend, Oregon today and heading north for a visit with a friend in Portland. And then we are going to cross into Washington and stay overnight for a couple nights. We actually have booked a paid campsite, which on one hand is really exciting because all the power, all the water. On the other hand, we're a little bummed out because we've gone basically five and a half months without ever paying for a spot. So it's bittersweet, but um, it's going to be necessary. A heat wave is coming through the area. That's too hot for the bus. Um, it's too hot for, for Raleigh to be in the bus. So we're going to plug in and run the AC and take it from there. At the moment, we are at a athletic park because we needed a little more internet than we were getting at our lamp last camp spot so that Cody can upload this week's YouTube video. So if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe. Cody works so hard on these videos and having you subscribe and like the videos makes a world of difference for us. So if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe, smash that like button and drop a comment below just to tell us you're here.